Welcome back. President Obama has been highlighting the auto bailout as one of the major accomplishments excuse me, of his administration. He even mentioned it during his State of the Union address. Remember that? But does President Obama deserve all the credit? And was the bailout an economic success? Joining us now is the president of Less Government, Seton Motley. Nice to see you this morning, Seton. Good to, see, good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You know, the president has spent quite a bit of time in the State of the Union address talking about the, the auto bailout and the auto industry and that the auto industry is back and that all of these individuals, I think maybe there was even one person in the audience from the auto industry that was there featured. Uh, you don't think, though, that the auto bailout was uh, a success? You don't think it was a huge economic success? Well, look, if you dump a million dollars into the Grand Canyon and $20 drifts to you <laughs> and you catch it, I could I could take the Obama approach and say, look, I gave you twenty dollars, but what about the other nine hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars? The the, the uh, Obama gave the auto industry, who gave GM fifty billion dollars. The company was worth less than eight billion. So first of all, you have to look at it and go, what's going on there? Second of all, by their own numbers, we're going to lose twenty-three point six billion on the total auto bailout. Twenty-three point six billion dollars lost. That's only in Washington, D.C., where Social Security is a success and Medicare is a success when they're trillions of dollars in debt, is losing $23.6 billion on a bailout considered a success. Well, can you have it both ways now? Because there's critics who are saying, look, you know, he's not giving enough, he's not giving enough uh, success or awareness to the fact that President George W. Bush was the person who actually put this in place and the money, the $17 billion that came from George W. Bush, came first, and he added another $85 billion on top of it. So is there not enough success to go around to share this with credit with it's somebody else? It's not a success. It's not a success. It's a, it's a, it's an abysmal failure. Look, B Barack Obama is attacking Romney for wanting the company to go through bankruptcy. Barack Obama walked in the front door, gave GM fifty billion dollars, and then the first thing he said was file for bankruptcy. Well, they could have filed for bankruptcy for free. So That's what you... we were calling for all along. Why did they need $50 billion of our money and then get to file for bankruptcy on top of it? So just to be clear, you think that it was a, it was a mistake for President George W. Bush to, to put that yes, money up? Yes, absolutely. Also, okay. So then on that metric, let's move forward to Mitt Romney, who in 2008, you'll remember, of course, penned that op-ed piece saying we basically need to let the auto industry go belly up on its own, let the market shake it out. Uh, do you think that that's the right position? Well, that's exactly that's what I'm, that's what I'm pointing out. He called for them to go through an ordered bankruptcy, right? right? Obama walks in, gives them $50 billion, and then says, go through bankruptcy. They went through bankruptcy anyway. So I don't know what Obama's talking about. It, it, all, all Obama did was do what Romney suggested and give him $50 billion to do it. And then on top of that, the reason Obama did that was so he could eviscerate 200 years of bankruptcy law screw the secured bondholders and over reward uh, the United Auto Workers Union who, who is of course a big constituency. Hmm. Fascinating. Seton Motley, uh, President of Less Government, thanks for waking up early with us this morning and breaking down some of these numbers. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Thank you very much.